Now friends, let's talk about this problem. This is question number 52. The number of solutions of the equation sin pi by 2 times 1 minus x plus cos pi by 2 1 minus x. The modulus, the mod we have taken is equal to under root of whole mod of ln mod of x cube plus 1. So, how to go about this problem? See, you have been given sin pi by 2 1 minus x. So, we have two different types of functions. So, whenever we talk about you know such type of equations where we have two different types, two different natures of functions. So, we need to use the concept of graph. So, graph when you talk about graph that means we have to draw the graphs and we have to find the number of points of intersection. So, I can just give you an idea and the basic knowledge of graph should be always known to you. Uh, so, how to create that two, two cases, let us have a look at that and we can just, you can draw the graph and you can get the points of intersection here. So, you have been given this part say sin pi by 2 minus theta is always going to be cos theta. So, for in this case pi by 2 into 1 minus pi by 2 x. So, cos pi by 2 minus theta is going to be sin. So, this is sin, we have pi x by 2. Then we have cos, this is pi x divided by 2. If we just square it, this is mod of, this is, you know, we have plus 1, right? This is what we have. We have squared it. So, once you square it, this is removed. So, sin theta plus cos theta is always going to be 1 plus sin 2 theta. So, this is going to be 1 plus, you know, we have sin pi x, right? Sin pi x and this is what? We have ln, this is mod of x cube, this is plus 1, right? Now, see this is given in the terms of mod here. So, we have two cases. So, we have case number 1, right? Let us create the two different types of functions, easy functions. You can draw the graph and you can find the points of intersection in this case. So, this is 1 plus, you know, the first case is 1 plus sin pi x. This is always going to be 1 plus ln, this is mod of x cube, right? Where we have 1 plus ln, x cube is greater than or equal to 0. This is how we can write it, isn't it? Now, uh, what do we have? We have 1, 1 cancelled, fine. So, sin pi x is going to be how much? This is going to be thrice of ln mod x whole cube, right? Now, this ln mod of x cube is greater than or equal to minus 1 or we can write it in this way, see, mod of x is greater than or equal to, this is 3 we have taken, this is e raised to the power minus 1, mod of x is greater than or equal to e raised to the power minus 1 by 3, right? So, this is case number 1 where we need to take this domain, right? Then we have case 2 case 2 we have. So, when you talk about case 2 friends, what do we have? We take this part 1 plus you know sin pi x, right? The same thing we are having, is not it? Now, this is the positive one we have taken. So, next one is the negative part we have to take that is negative of ln mod of x cube. This is minus 1 I am talking about, right? fine. Now, if I just go to the next one that is going to be minus of sin pi x and this is minus of 2. So, this is thrice of log of x. So, we have two functions here minus 2 minus sin pi x minus 2 and thrice of ln x, right? So, if we just talk about now the thing, the, what can be the domain in this case? Obviously, the mod of x is always going to be less than equal to e raised to the power minus 1 by 3, right? So, the values of x we need to follow is this and for this we have to follow this part. So, we have two different types of cases. So, we can just go with the graph part now, both the cases. Now, sin pi x thrice of ln x, then we have minus sin pi x minus 2 thrice of ln x, two cases we have and if we draw the graphs, we will find that we have four points of intersection in the first case, we have the second case 
two points of intersection and accordingly we get 6 to be the final answer. So, 6 is the final answer. We just draw the graph and we get the answer here, right? So, hopefully this is clear to you. Now, students, let us talk about this problem. So, we have been given a n which is sigma gamma equal to 1 to n and cos 2 3 raised to the power gamma minus 1 alpha divided by sin 3 raised to the power gamma alpha where alpha is 18 degree and then we have gamma is equal to 1 to n that is for b n we have cos 3 times 2 raised to the power gamma minus 1 beta divided by cos 2 raised to the power gamma into beta where beta is 36 degree right. Now you see you have to find a 2 0 2 1 plus b 2 0 2 0. So, what how how the process can be done in this case first let us have a look at the thing because if we just put the values getting to the answer it will be a tiresome job right. So, we need to use a technique here see we need to create that relation between this 2 2 raised to the power 3 gamma minus 1 into alpha 3 raised to the power 3 raised to the power gamma into alpha. So, if you can create that relation things can be worked out. Let us see how we can do it. See the first thing is we take the numerator part say 3 raised to the power gamma times alpha plus 2 times right 3 raised to the power gamma minus 1 and this is alpha we have the first case I have taken right. So, we can take 3 raised to the power gamma got it 3 raised to the power gamma we have. So, if we take 3 raised to the power gamma we are left out with alpha plus you know 2 we have uh, this is minus 1 right and then we are alpha. Then we have 3 raised to the power gamma this is alpha plus we have 2 upon 3 alpha which is again 3 raised to the power gamma minus 1 ok and this is going to be how much this is 5 alpha alpha is 18 degrees we have 90 degree here. Can you see that? This is how we can write it fine. Similarly, if we talk about this relation you see. So, second relation is 3 times 2 raised to the power gamma minus 1 we have beta right and 2 raised to the power gamma this is beta. So, you see how we can create the relation between this using 18 degree and 36 degree in this case also. So, anything we can take common here is that we have to take care of. So, here we can take uh, say 2 to the power gamma minus 1. Let us take 2 to the power gamma minus 1 common. So, we have thrice of beta plus we have uh, you know once you have taken this. So, this is again we have to take 2 ok and this is beta we have. So, 5 beta. So, this is 2 raised to the power gamma minus 1 and this is going to be 180 degree right. So, what we can do we can just take cos of 2 of this say right. Say cos of 2 of this if I take this on the right hand side. So, as I told you that this is going to be 3 gamma minus 1 raised to the power gamma minus 1 into 90 degree. So, this is a multiple of 90 degree and this is going to be a 180 degree uh, multiple of 180 degree. Just you have to do nothing once you get this form you just apply what is the relation we have between this two. So, this is nothing but this times this right we can substitute the values we have 90 minus theta odd multiple of theta minus theta allied angle type form will be getting. Similarly, for 180 degree also we will be getting once you get it we simplify the things and we will get two values I mean one relation will be getting and we just substitute the values we get the answer to be 2019. So, this is the key point you have which is needed for this particular problem beta right. This is the important thing we have simply we have to just take one this value say we will take on the right hand side or maybe this value we are having in terms of beta we can take one value on the right hand side we have multiple of 180 degree we use that concept of 90 degree odd multiple of 90 degree minus theta allied angles form and uh, 180 minus theta or 
90 minus theta form, right? That is the clue I have given you. You can just go accordingly and we get the answer in this case, right? So hopefully this is clear to you. So friends, let us talk about this problem that is question number 54. The number of real solutions of the equation x cube minus whole x cube plus x minus x greatest integer function. This is the greatest integer sign we have and whole cube where you know the it is representing the greatest integer function and we have x belongs to close interval 1 and then we have open interval 10 right. So 1 comma 10 it can take x can take 1 also. We just take one thing let us take x is equal to say k plus r right this is what we have k plus r. So k is nothing but we have a non-negative integer what do we have we have non-negative integer okay this is what we have and this is the fractional part friends this is the fractional part we have so this always lies between what 0 comma 1 right okay now if we just substitute the values here we get the you know if we just substitute this in this particular equation we get thrice of kr and this is k plus r right this is what we have and we can take this to be thrice of kr right then we have k plus r plus r cube okay this is what we have now you see this k plus r as we have taken the number here x to be uh, k plus r right and r is varying from 0 to 1 and also we have x belongs to 1 to 10 okay to get the number of real solutions we can use this form see this is always going to be an integer right because the whole thing is equal to this part so number of solutions will be the values of k we are talking about right so it is going to be sigma we can write k is equal to 1 to 9 then we have thrice of k into k plus 1 beta this is so the values of k will play a very important role in finding the number of real solutions right so this is nothing but 3k square plus 3k sum of the squares of first and natural numbers and the sum of the square sum of the first and natural numbers so when we use this part we get 990 to be the answer right so hopefully this is clear to you